uh, David Cameron and said, Russell Brand is a joke. Russell Brand's a joke. For all his talk of being a passionate Prime Minister, he can't hold the attention of people in a two-yard radius of his mad, shiny, painted egg face. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much-anticipated main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds, middleweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. He's making his way to the ring right now, puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. For all his talk of being a passionate Prime Minister, he can't hold the attention of people in a two-yard radius of his mad, shiny, painted egg face. He's making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornermen, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. Russell Brown's a judge. painted egg face. Russell Brown's a joke. All right, fellas. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Round one of 12. Locks that punch. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Nice work, great technique. The combo lands. Teddy, do you ever get the sense when you see a guy who has good defensive movement with his head that it can also become predictable to his opponent? Yeah, sometimes if you make that head movement from too far away, you can get time. You have to be close enough to draw the punch. Kind of like a batter in the batting box in baseball. You have to wait until the ball starts to break. If you start swinging too soon, you're gonna miss that ball. You gotta be close enough to get hit. And just before you get hit, then you move. Merciless, his legs look shaky. He was solid. Oh, that's beautiful stuff, Teddy. That is beautiful work with that combination to score the knockdown. Well, that's the benefit of putting them together. One sets up the other one. He gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Oh, a good right hand by Merciless. Sets up that right hand with the jab. Flinch, flinch. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Solid. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Well, he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Good block by Merciless. End of that round. And the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, right, they just kind of roll up into Deep a breath. ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. 
other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Nice combination there. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you're just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember this fighter has to be. Wow! Can you believe that? What a huge punch! You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. Hmm. lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown but he still has to impress and move forward here yeah i applaud him i give him credit but i also recognize that he's in good shape that's one of the reasons he got up halfway through round number two good combination landing there that shot unable to land Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Committing to the combo now. Both land. Gets him with the right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Nice block by Merciless. Little bit of space now to get away from the ropes. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Knock down again. Unreal. Now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they gonna stop this? is unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him. Probably going to mark that down as one of the highlights of his career. From out of nowhere, one single knockout punch. Well, it's one of those punches that actually can be marked down. It's going to last in the annals of this sport. I mean, this matches up with any of the great knockouts ever in this sport. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights. Painted egg face.